Hey, what's up, guys? Carl here. <clears throat> Happy uh, Wednesday. Um, thought I'd come take you guys for a little walk with me. It's kind of felt like going for a walk. Just uh, around my neighborhood. Um, so I'm doing like going for a little walk. Uh, smoking some uh, about a year and a half old uh, HH old dark fired in my uh, Briar Boy Rustic Reverse Calabash Cherry Wood pipe, which he made for me uh, a few months back. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to keep it. Uh, the pipe going, it's a little windy. But it's, it's something new. I've never done this before, so I thought I'd try doing a little bit of a different video today. I'm actually going to cross the street real quick over here, get on the sidewalk. There we go. Sorry about this. I'm uh, clear on the camera. The sun's kind of out. Um, I think I'm actually going to. Uh, go back over here where there's a little more shade. Yeah, that's better. See what kind of people I can get staring at me. <laughs> See exactly how much uh, attention I can grab. Uh, people wondering why some some guys walking around videotaping himself smoking a pipe. <laughs> I would have brought the uh, the dogs with me, but um, <clears throat> would have been too much of a hassle, like holding all these things and holding two dogs and my iPad and my pipe and everything too so it's just me right now um, I had to take uh, work off today because I uh, got some bad news last night or uh, yesterday I mean when I got off work um, I had a text from uh, from Lisa's mom telling me to call her and found out um, that yesterday when uh, Lisa was hanging out with her mom yesterday that uh, they got in a car accident yesterday, and uh, Lisa had to uh, was taken to the hospital in the uh, ambulance, and so um, <clears throat> so I got to find that out when I got home from work. And um, <sighs> ended up finding out Lisa uh, had a concussion and she injured her spine and stuff. And luckily, she didn't have to stay in the hospital. She was in and out in a couple hours, so she was already out of the hospital by the time I got that I got home. So, uh, but still, that's kind of scary finding that out. Um, I guess um, Lisa and her mom were just. Um, at Costco, it's just a couple miles away from uh, where we live, just a couple miles up the road from where we live, and um, I guess they were on the main street, and all the cars were stopped, because uh, the light on the stoplight was red, and um, <clears throat> apparently this lady that um, they told me was probably in like her 50s, uh, apparently just wasn't paying attention, and uh, smacked the back of uh, uh, my mother-in-law's car going about like 30, 30, 35 miles an hour. But, um, you know, my, my mother-in-law has a real, a real nice car. Yeah, yeah, a very sturdy car. Big old Ford. Uh, big old Ford Escape. And uh, it's a hefty car. So the car, her car, uh, my mother-in-law's car didn't really have too much damage on it. Um, I took a look at it, and it didn't have no dents or anything, 
but it had some pretty bumpers, pretty scratched up. The end of them. But I guess this lady's car just completely totaled. Uh, Lisa said that it was crumpled up pretty much like a tin can, I guess. Uh, that lady smashed so hard, her radiator just exploded everywhere. There was like a, a radiator fluid and all kinds of other stuff all over the floor. Or the floor, I mean all over the concrete and stuff. So, yeah, that was kind of nerve-wracking finding that out yesterday. But, uh, so Lisa's on some heavy-duty pain pills and muscle relaxers and all kinds of stuff right now. So, uh, you know, thank the Lord she's okay. Uh, very glad. Uh, the biggest thing, you know, uh, for me and my wife and our family living our lives uh, as Christians, as uh, believers in God and Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> when scary things happen, really the biggest thing we have to hold on to is our faith. And uh, basically, all your, uh, for those of you who don't know, your faith is basically your, uh, your trust in God. And uh, so, during tough times, it's, it can be hard you know, to keep the faith. But, um, you know, uh, as a Christian, and if you know your scripture and you read it, um, and just as a believer in God and a follower of Jesus Christ, um, you know how to it's gonna help you get through those times but um <clears throat> yeah it was scary but you know I'm grateful that she's okay um, that you know the injuries weren't too extreme but so I uh took the day off work today uh, just to spend time with Lisa Lisa went to a uh, went to see her doctor so she's been with her mom the last few hours and uh, so I just been home by myself and you know, I decided just to go for a walk it's a nice day today not too hot but still you know cool enough to you know wear a jacket um, <clears throat> but it's a nice day that's what I thought you know, I just I go for a walk, relax, and for a walk and smoke a pipe. And go talk to you guys. There's a lot of hills around where I live. I'm, excuse me, I'm getting old. <laughs> uh, some of you guys know, uh, my birthday is in uh, less than two weeks. So today's the uh, the 1st of October. Uh, my birthday is the 12th. So I got 11 days uh, till my birthday, till I'm 25. So I don't know what I'm doing yet, but we'll see. But uh, <clears throat> anyways though, just wanted to make a video, say hi to everybody, thought I'd take you along for a walk, and uh, hope you guys have a good day, I'll talk to you all later.